<laughs> what, what now? I want to reevaluate really this friendship. <laughs> I think. Hi, my name is Runika. If you're new to this channel, hello. And if you're not, welcome the fuck back. Thank you for such a back. What do you mean? Today, I am so excited. Um, I'm literally living out my childhood dream. In the other vlogs, you saw Kazinda's childhood dream. But in this one, this one here, it's mine. It is Lina. It's mine. <laughs> uh, but anyways, today we are at the planetarium. Um, I am here with a friend of mine, we're spending the day together, we're doing a lot of cute stuff. I'm so excited because I've had a really keen interest in astronomy for quite some time, for those who don't know. Um, so it's kind of nice to like explore these very... So it's kind of nice to really explore like these very cutesy places where you know my interests and my childhood dreams can be lived out okay we love that <laughs> so yeah so that's what i'm gonna be doing today you're gonna see some more wholesomeness because i'm kind of wholesome in case you didn't notice <laughs> anyways i really can't wait for you guys to see everything i'm gonna be getting up to today it feels like it's gonna be a good day it feels like it is actually gonna be a good day and i'm kind of excited about that just a bit, you know, just just a small bit. Anywho, in true fashion, please like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you press that bell button to get notified every time I release a new video. What do you mean? Let's get the stage started. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get the stage started. So guys, my drink literally just got here. It's supposed to be a martini gin. Me, Ulunika, not knowing that martini is actually a category of drinks and not necessarily a name of a drink. Why did you tell me this? Like, I'm so shook. So essentially, I'm having straight gin. <laughs> Nancy is literally so open me, I can't stand you. <laughs> and the waitress did say that it's strong, but I didn't realize, like, she said it's a cocktail. No, but she said it's a cocktail. Guys, we all look at you. I said this drink is strong. He said she, that's what I wanted no. to say. He said, take me to the All I'm gonna say is that she said the drink is a cocktail and I was like, I right, bet it's gonna have ice and tonic in it. Not a whole fucking straight gin situation, but damn, dog. 
inside the we're taking it to the top. <laughs> <laughs> This is unnecessary tattooing. I think the one thing that I don't understand from him specifically are the tantrums. Like, yeah. chill, calm down. Why do you have to pause the scene at checkers? Like, why? Like, breathe, dog. Like, literally, just breathe. Like, breathe. I'm pretty sure it's not that upsetting. Just breathe. I was a perfect child. I'm sorry. I can't relate to that. which was very intense. Um, I don't think I've ever done yoga with Adrian before because I know that I subscribed to her channel, but like, I don't think I really actually did yoga with her at some point. But now, because I have a yoga mat, I did, I did, I did, I did. I literally bought a yoga mat like last month and this is the first time I actually got to use it. So I'm quite happy that like, I finally got to that shit. Like, really genuinely happy. Um, and I think it was actually quite imperative for me to kind of like do it today because I've literally had like such a tough week, like mentally and emotionally. And I feel like being mindful was definitely going to help kind of set the mood for the day and ultimately set the mood for the week. Because I'm really not trying to have a repeat of last week. 
Um, yeah, it just, it really was not great. It, it really wasn't. Finally got the angle, thank you, sorry. Anyways, so the point that I'm trying to say is that I had a bad week. A friend ghosted me again, the same one from New Year's, just saying, or oh, maybe she's asleep, it's 10. And she doesn't wake up before 12, so I can't necessarily say she's ghosting, but still, why didn't you follow up on plans last night? Just saying. In any case, I'm literally going to do a mini self-care day, just take myself out to this one place that I've been wanting to go to for so long. Um, it's quite needed. And also, another thing that was like so turbulent about this week was that I went to go see a dietitian. Of course, at the request of my doctor. And, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, go wow. Going through it, as always. She put me on a meal plan. She put me on a do's and don'ts list. She put me on everything that is not good for my health. I'm at loss for words as to what I need to put into my body in order to make it work now. Um, because there's just like a lot of things that have been omitted on this list, like foods to avoid specifically. And I'm not happy about that. As Uzama would say, it's given me a lostro. Like, I can't. I, like, personally, I can't. For instance, on a foods to avoid list, I can't have freshly baked doughy bread. Okay, that's a new one. The bread needs to be at least a day old. Or it, he's, or it needs to be toast between the two. Cool. And then the one that hurts my soul the most is the fact that I can only have six fruits. That being ripe lychees, cherries, nectarines, pawpaw, banana, and avocado. First of all, when the fuck have you ever seen me have a pawpaw in my entire life? Also, lychees are disgusting. They're disgusting. Why would you put me on that? They're disgusting. One more time. They're disgusting. I can't do that. Me. Can't. Sorry. No, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, Zalane. No, Zalane. Not here. Yeah, not in this house. So it hurts my soul, the fact that I can't have apples, the fact that I can't have berries, the fact that I can't have grapes anymore. Luckily, I can have alcohol, so maybe I can substitute my grapes with wine somehow, even though I hate wine a bit. Um, but even then, I can't have alcohol on like an empty stomach, as one should never, by the way. Cool, so I can accept that one. But I can't have chocolates, I can't have... I can't have cakes. <laughs> I literally, I can't have cakes, I can't have donuts, I can't have coconuts. I can't have coconuts? Okay. But I can have milk puddings though, so I guess in Mumtad I can have that. But the point is, there's literally she put cooked asparagus tips as one of the things that I could have. When the fuck have I ever had asparagus? Sis? Also, eat tips. When? Thanks. There's just a lot of things that I can't have. And some of the things are really quite ridiculous because how can I not have lettuce that literally is, what, 90% water, but I can have spinach? It just, it makes no sense to me. But you know what? She knows what she's doing and I'm just going to eat like a fucking Kermit. I'm just so mad. Like, I'm literally so mad. I can't have chocolate and I can't have cake. I can't have chocolate cake. Those are like the two things that make up me. Can you hear this? They make, they make me, and I can't have them. So this is a bit of a fucking travesty if you ask me. It's interesting. I've literally just been trying to go to a dietitian like for a while. I had thought about it at some point like last year, um, but I just never really ended up going to one. So now that I have, I'm kind of grateful for the experience, but also at the same time because of the condition that I have and also the fact that I have to eat like this for like, six to eight weeks is just a bit of a i'm starting to not appreciate you as much because you took me off cake chocolate cake so and carrot cake wait i can have carrots so what about cake carrot cake 
that I just discovered a loophole. I should probably just shower and get going um, and literally have a very cute day to myself. A very cute, very limited food restrictive diet day to myself. It's giving a lot of I'm not gonna lie. Enough work, but anyways, I'll see you guys on the flip side as per usual. After I pay the bill here, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna be in the hundreds. <laughs> I need to get no listen, I need to get paid my salary every week. Exactly. And every I week. The full amount, the full amount the every amount. week. Exactly. Like yeah, that's the only thing that makes sense because besides that, you are a sort of Sorry. Because I saw you on like a hill doing some <laughs> like retired young retired young like, ones. You were, like, on the chair, you know? <laughs> Guys, the nigga said. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I hate you. First, didn't like my gloves, but I think they make my dress what it is. Una mona. Sabe? The 70s cold, they want their outfit back. Mr. Price cold, they want their aesthetic back. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, let me go. <laughs> Bitch, will you put my bag down? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, it's so beautiful. I'm going to be the vlogger here. You're really Hi, guys, not. Welcome to my vlog. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon and we're chin chilling at a hotel. You know? I'm literally hanging and I can't believe I'm tolerating this right now. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you guys, I'm nice. I'm not an asshole. Like, she just brings it out in me, though. It brings it out, out in, in me. me I wish you could bring out these good and good Ah, I wish you wouldn't stutter for once. What, what now? I want to reevaluate this friendship. <laughs> <laughs> I think <laughs> this conversation needs to be had about respect. <laughs> I'm home and tired. Today was cute. Um, I think I very much needed a bit of a breather. Although the only downside was that I didn't like my drink when we went, which was really cute, but I hate my drink, so. But in any case, I'm essentially ending the vlog here because there's really not much to see from this point forward because I'm literally going to edit more vlogs as I usually do. I feel like I need to find a way to kind of like make my schedule make sense because this thing of like spending random days editing vlogs is just not working out. 
I need to dedicate like proper, proper, proper time to it. But yeah, that's me issue. As long as you guys enjoy these, then I guess we're all good. In true fashion, please like, comment, and subscribe, and press the bell button to get notified every time I release a new video. And also make sure you just share. Share on the goodness, share around with your friends, share around with your ex who's not supposed to be taking you back, but you guys are getting back together for no reason. <laughs> yes, share, have fun, spread the wholesomeness, spread the love. Anywho, I will see you in next week's video. Bye.